Thanks. I'm here with Vince Mercogliano, who covers the Rangers for Loja.com and USA Today. Let's start with Igor Shesterkin. Can you sum up his performance in the series and especially Game 7? Yeah, well, you look at the beginning of this series. Games one and two, he was awesome. Then he went through a little stretch where it was ups and downs. Obviously, he got pulled in those back-to-back -back starts in Pittsburgh in games three and four. But I thought tonight was the best he looked, maybe all series, definitely since those first two games. 42 saves, and let's call it what it was. He kept the Rangers in the game early on when they weren't playing great defensively. They had several breakdowns, and Igor really stood on his head in a lot of situations. Even the first goal that the Rangers scored, it came after he made four saves in a span of like 20 seconds right in front of the net, and then the Rangers get the rush opportunity going the other way. So he kept it close enough for them to be able to ultimately have the comeback win. Well, how about the veterans? How did they come through? And they, I mean, the way they played the last two games, how does that change the ceiling of this team? Well, the redemption story, obviously, is Artemi Panarin. He admittedly, and Coach Gerard Gallant said it after the game, did not have a great night and, frankly, did not have a great series. He's the one guy who I feel like the Rangers would have liked a little more production from, from start to finish. The points were there, but he just wasn't as dynamic as he was for long stretches in the regular season. Didn't control the puck as well as I thought he did for most of the season. But, of course, he gets the overtime winner, and that could be a major confidence builder for him going into the next series. But to me, the guy that was most important was Mika Zibanejad. Jad. The last two games for him, I thought he was the best player on the ice for either team. And in game six, you know, the big story was Sidney Crosby was out and he excelled in a game not having to play against Crosby. But tonight he went head to head with Crosby, won 72% of his faceoffs, three points, the game tying goal with five minutes and 45 seconds left. Mika is taking off right now and that's a great sign for the Rangers. Amazing. And comebacks have really been a calling card for this team. Can you sum up just the resolve of the Rangers? Well, they've, they've used the motto and the hashtag on Twitter all season, no quit New York. And honestly, I feel like I'm running out of ways to write about it because they've had so many of these comeback wins throughout the season. But doing it in the regular season is one thing. Doing it in the playoffs is another. And they've done it now three consecutive games where they go through adversity. It's win or go home for them. They're losing late in the third period and they find a way to pull it out. So that is one thing you cannot question about this team is the character and the heart. They they have inconsistencies in their game, and to beat a team like Carolina, who they're playing next, they're going to need to clean some of that stuff up because Carolina is a different animal, but you can never count the Rangers out. That's one thing we have to say about them. No quit in New York, and they move on. Vince, thanks so much.